Hello guys, what's up? And today we are back with another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we went through the first half of the investigation. Edgeworth won't trust us. We have one witness, which is Lada, and she's about to get us some photos, and we just talked to Ted Gumshoe. So let's just move on with the investigation. I believe we have to go back to Gord Lake. Can we go back and like... Cool. Hey y'all! Lana! Wait up a sec, we got Bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them, take a look! Wait. See, see, he's shooting him with that pistol! It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to string a bullfrog. But, you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness! What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon... Oh boy. I reckon so, I reckon no. I have no idea. Maybe... What will happen? What would happen if I press no? Or what would happen if I press so? Would she now be a witness? Or... I don't know. What would happen? Or would she not tell us anything if I said so? I feel like this is one of those things that's not gonna cost me anything, but I just have a really hard time deciding. Fine. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Was well, that a good idea? But wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness and that means I'm on the side of justice and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta. Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Race today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn! She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. <sighs> okay, was that the good? Was that a good idea? I have no clue. Looks like the police have given up on their interviewing. What the f- Ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you! Oh, it's probably- <laughs> it's Larry, isn't it? Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick! Hey, I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous! No, it is me! L Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious I'm working my day job? I sell samurai dogs, want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl Keon say. Kionce? 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 I don't know. Those are the best. Kionce? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kionce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. But that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume! She was really nice. Whoa, cute! Nick, who's she? She's not you. Not my what? N nope, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? Well, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. N no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Ah, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. <laughs> Hey, Larry, there was no murder here last night. 
And since you work here, have you heard anything? No, you're wasting your time. Last time was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oh. I think we just said caught him off guard, Maya. N no, it's just Keonse's not in town right now. She She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Ah, me. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Um, uh, tell me about the dogs! Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? W why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they're kind of look guard shaped. Well, originally, they were guard dogs. You know, like. Okay, I didn't read the whole line, I'm sorry. Ouch! The samurai thing was Keonse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know? She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend! She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of the, sam of the samurai dogs. Um. Something about that just seems... wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What, with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy! G gordy So, Miss Retro, was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Sending all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second, but Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney! What? I just got a pro- <laughs> No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney! That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer! Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man used to go on and on about a man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? He's so silent. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy! A monster? Yeah! Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper! That's a photo! Wow! It's really real! Nick! A monster! A real monster! Um, yeah. And it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it! Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem! That'll be one million dollars! One million? Grow up, Larry. Okay, um... Anything else? Was this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Anything? No. Why is he so worried when he said last night? <laughs> okay, so... Let's just move on to other places. Go back to the boat rental shop, maybe? Nope, never mind. Never mind. Criminal affairs?
Not a gumshoe in sight. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh oh. Welp. Um. Hacking heck. So we went all the way there just to know that Lada's over there. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I'm stuck again. This is how stuck I was when I first played Turn of Back Goodbyes. I'm so sorry. Ah. <sighs> the only place we can go back to is the right and cool offices, but I doubt anything's gonna happen there. What is it? Oh! Nothing, just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I remember now. This guy, he's a lawyer that was at the office that Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Roseburg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe we should go talk to him for old time's sake. Oh no, I don't remember how to do Roseburg's voice. Ooh. This isn't gonna be good. Boy. Ahem. A uh, little familiar clearing of the throat. Uh huh. You owe me as something, are you not? I was your understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Uh huh. And you, you owe me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? Takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of a fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? There was a murder here last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I have just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed! I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall be ever coming back to home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old bitter desserts. Old bitter desserts. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Um, mm -hmm. strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edward shot? Who was this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond? He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at the loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Fay, your mother contracted, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. <laughs> the DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to take, talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. When Mr. Hammond won the case, the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, quite. Thank you. Uh, no, please, don't mention it. DL6, never let it hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have to do- have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. 
Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Oh boy. Okay, so now I know exactly where to go. Let's go to the detention center. Let's talk to Edgeworth. What's this? I was hoping you got the main message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It is no concern of yours. I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it I'm impressed, right? <clears throat> you were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Oh boy. <clears throat> the DL6 incident when was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are... foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium that used to talk to my late father said the same thing. There was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that, declared, that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your- It's strange. I thought that the terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. On December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Come on, Edgeworth, please. Can't say I really want to, to see one of those right now. Really? <laughs> you would have thought there'd be a photo. Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're kind of you're the kind of point of gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you! Yes, will you? Of course we will. Ah, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should. What's that? Earthquake, Nick! It's a big one! It's calming down! Ew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in the ball shit. <laughs> Aww, he's so cute! 
guess he doesn't do well with earthquakes. I've heard him running, but curling up in a ball. <laughs> well, I guess we're done. Miss Treasury doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We had to get Vegemite's letter requested to Ted and Gumshoe. This is a joke in the Ace Attorney franchise. Well, this is a joke among the Ace Attorney community. <laughs> and that's why I'm laughing. Because I've already played this case and I know why he's scared. And it's hilarious. That's adorable. He's curling up on the, gr on the ground. Aww. What's going on here? Eek! Uh, what's wrong, Detective? This one lady comes here. Yeah, just a while ago, since she came to talk with y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want us- You want to get Mr. Edge with the death sentence, pal? N no not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. And I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. <laughs> So, what did Miss Hart say? She said she saw Miss Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell who... from the photo who it is that's shooting. That's why she said she's gonna alert the photo. She said it'll draw the quality of might, but let's see who's who. She can do that? Okay, so there's gonna be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. In any case, she's gonna be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow's gonna be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable, unwinnable case. But wait. What did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Ashworth is gonna ask the state the ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you got you but you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again. For me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him what you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Ashworth. Well, um, we already have. Was I supposed to come here first? I probably su was supposed to. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! I'm glad I waited to the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal! Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worry? We're fine. I lived out my whole life. I well, had here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. You did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big wake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go wait and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Okay! Oh, that was the end of the investigation. That was a super long investigation. Whew! Alright, well, um, if you enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like, maybe you can leave a comment, or maybe even subscribe. I will see you next time.